Today we are answering all your tax queries related to real estate with Ashish Sodani. Ashish is an associate international tax practice at Nishit Desai and Associates. Ashish, welcome to the show. We already have someone who's dialed in. Sunit has called us from Raurkela. Sunit, how can we help you? Hi, this is Sunit, and uh, I, I didn't really get the good names, uh, Ashish. I'm told. All right, Ashish. I, uh, Ashish, it's like this. Uh, uh, we normally have this uh, corpus which we get from our retired fund, in you know, the provident fund. Now, my question is that the the, the corpus that we get get back from the provident fund after all the uh, interest that has been paid to us. Uh, is it a way? Is there a way that we can avoid a tax on it? Because every time, you know, uh, this is the money that's the last money, kind of for a front, last frontier for us, you know, in terms of savings when we are, you know, working in a company. So when it comes down to the provident fund, we use this fund as our last uh, money for, you know, for surviving for the future. Right, Sunit. Uh, so essentially, you want to know how you can save tax on that provident fund money that you will get once you retire correct. on your retirements. Essentially, uh, just. And FYI, this is a show where we answer property tax questions. However, we will answer this as well. Uh, Ashish, what can so, we do? Uh, so, unlike uh, in case of a residential property where once we sell and then we have a capital gains benefit, unfortunately over here we do not have that benefit. Uh, so the interest would become taxable at some point of time. However, uh, if you have been in the uh, company for more than five years or if you have your EPF continued for more than five years, what you, uh, what you could do is that uh, when you receive the payment, you do not have to, uh, they, the employer does not have to deduct any TDS. So you receive the full amount uh, with yourself and then any deduction that you are taking generally from your income tax, you could claim that and pay taxes accordingly. But there would be a general uh, interest tax that would be payable in case of you receiving the EPF amount, the interest amount on the EPF. So you have to pay uh, tax on the interest that you get on your EPF. But uh, very quickly, Ashish, we know that a lot of people in India, uh, I mean, it's not a practice that one should ideally follow, but mm -hmm. a lot of people do use their money in the PF to you know fund their homes right. uh, towards the end of their careers. Now, if you were to do that, if you were to withdraw that entire uh, chunk and invest it in real estate, then is it taxable? So, uh, there is a small distinction. It is the interest amount and the principal plus the amount that has accrued over the years, right? So, that amount that you are taking out, the principal plus the accrued amount is not something that is going to be taxable, but the interest amount from your contributions that you have made over the years is the part which is taxable. So that you, even if you invested anywhere, you will have to pay taxes. Yes. You can watch live TV on our website, mbnow.in. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash magicbricksnow. And don't forget to click the like button. You can also follow us on Twitter at magicbricksnow. To stay updated with all our programming, hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel by logging on to youtube.com forward slash magicbricksnow.